All right. It is almost six years later. Let's see what the new and improved Fallout 76 is like, shall we? Okay. Believe me, guys, nobody is happier about this than I am. I was there, man. I was there on launch day. I wasn't just there as a Fallout fan, I was there as a Fallout fan whose partner knew how much of a Fallout fan he is. She bought me the freaking Tricentennial Edition. I played as long as I could. I tried way harder to like Fallout 76 than I would have if I had just bought it myself. Eventually, my girlfriend started seeing the news. She asked the question, and it broke my heart to tell her how bad it was. All of this just works. All of this just works. And it, again, it, it just works. Thank fuck she didn't buy me the Helmet Edition. Epic fail, by the way. After binging the incredible new TV series, my girlfriend was thrilled to see me reinstall Fallout 76, and she was overjoyed to hear me say that it's actually good now. Just like before, you get the new mechanics explained through tapes, but you also get to talk to real NPCs while you do, so it's okay now. And the NPCs even throw in a little fourth wall joke about them for you. Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. At first, I thought the always online thing would bother me, and I was weirded out that Vats didn't slow time anymore. I thought I was going to miss out on all that cinematic gunplay, then I realized I could do this. Seriously, I love doing this. As far as I'm concerned, Fallout 76 now has a solid handle on factions and questlines, as well as just picking a direction and enjoying all of the natural discovery that comes along the way which are two of the most important parts of the Fallout universe for me. I also love the events, especially when you get a good crowd going, but I don't advise trying to solo the harder ones. And credit where it's due, somehow Bethesda came up with a scientific explanation. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that they did. I don't know, maybe in the terminals that nobody reads? for why a nuclear wasteland can have so much colour. When you wake up in the vault, there is so much celebration and so many bright colours around you, and when you get outside, it looks like it's autumn, instead of, you know, mud. I am also loving all of the customization that's available here. Making a character your own has always been a huge draw for me in RPGs, and I'm a sucker for fashion. I once wiped out the entire Brotherhood just so I could have Elder Maxim's battle coat. Never seen a prettier sight. And I simply cannot get enough of all those legendary weapon variants. Once I got my hands on a double firing explosive magnum though, it's been kinda hard to put it down. I was also super grateful for the option to start at level 20 with a decent set of perks and a solid weapon. You can swap your perks around at train stations, which is delightful, it's something that you couldn't do in Fallout 4. And between all the daily quests and events and faction questlines, you'll soon have plenty of them to play with. Also shout out to my starter pistol, a weapon so powerful it gave me the confidence to walk into the bowels of an enemy camp and negotiate with the leader. Anybody else want to negotiate? Always remember guys, there are other vault dwellers in your world too. Even if you're playing on your own, hop in a casual clan for the free boost. 
The community seems to be a mostly nice one here, like how when you leave Vault 76, there's a donations box. And this was put in the game because high level players kept leaving things behind for new players. So Bethesda just made it official. We made a post-apocalyptic survival game where you can do whatever you want and everybody's nice to each other. <laughs> they don't go on killing griefing sprees, they leave food and water for the newbies and wave to each other. I don't know about you, this should give us all hope for humanity when the apocalypse does come. For all the memes and all the scandal back when this game first launched, and again when they introduced Fallout first, Fallout 76 seems to be firing on all cylinders now. War never changes, but I guess sometimes it's just a bit slow to get started.